We briefly mentioned that evolution was a change over time, a change of a species, a change of a something over time, right? So the idea behind evolution is that all living things have a common ancestor. Some evidence we have for evolution, we're gonna focus on four main things. So these are fossils, embryos, homologous structures, and DNA. Fossils are the remains of organisms that previously once lived a long, long time ago. Scientists can see the structures of ancient organisms and this provides clues about how they lived, um, what kind of environment that they lived in, and how they evolved and how they're related to certain species now. Embryos, scientists study the early ages, early stages of embryos and they can see the differences between each stage and see how these embryos are evolving into species now and see, and they can trace back to where they look similar and when the differences started occurring. That shows us we have a common ancestor. Homologous structures, um, they're similar structures that animals have and species have that, um, again, show we had a common ancestor. So we all have homologous structures with whales. Whales have fins. We have similar structures in our hand. Cats have similar structures. Whales do, horses do, things like that. So they look at these homologous structures and think, okay, common ancestor. And then from there, they all evolved into different species. And then finally, finally DNA. So there's DNA bases and sequences that show how similar. So our DNA sequences are very, very similar with the chimpanzees DNA sequences. So they can check how similar and how comparable these sequences are to say, wow, they have super similar DNA. They share a common ancestor. Whereas our DNA might be completely way different than another species. And it's like, okay, you know, they have a common ancestor, but they're not as closely related as these two other species are. 